Hi everyone and thanks for giving this uh, video a nice clickety click. I hope you like it. It's my first attempt at a Snoopy dog house. Um, I really enjoy Peanuts and Charlie Brown and Snoopy so I thought I'd give this one a go mainly because you can get away with it not being quite so neat. Um, so I thought well that suits me. Um, so I started off with a stack of coffee cake sandwiched together with vanilla buttercream and I've just cut out a couple of template plates for the front and back of the dog house and I've just cut it into a rough shape. Um, I'm then giving it a crumb coat of the vanilla buttercream which will go into the fridge once it's had its layer all over. Um, this was on a, an 8 inch board so that will give you an idea of how big the actual cake is. So I gave it a quick smooth down before it went back into the refrigerator. I have to say making Snoopy is much harder than he looks because you can't really get too much wrong and he'll look a bit ooh if you do. Um, but I think this one turned out okay. Um, I've then added uh, a coat of dark chocolate ganache and that went in the fridge and I smoothed it down again with a hot offset spatula I just dipped it in some hot water and smoothed it out and then I worked on the front entrance to the doghouse and just eyeballed this really um, and cut out the shape and gouged it out with a little spoon and then once you've done that you just need to add another layer of dark chocolate ganache to that that'll just give it a little bit more 3d look for you um, which I think just helps a little, it's just a little detail. And then once that's done, just pop that back in the fridge to let that sit up a little bit too. You can smooth out a little bit with your fingers too. Um, the next job was to add the black fondant to the entrance to the doorway. So here I've just cut out a rough shape that I knew would cover that entrance. And I'm just smoothing it out with my fingers. And then I, I took another little piece of black fondant as well, but I haven't got that on video, but I just smoothed that out with that, that helps too and then cut out a rough shape and I smoothed the edges as best I can to the actual ganache so that it's sort of laid flat. And then here I've just rolled out 250 grams of red poppy red fondant and 250 grams of poppy red modeling paste. Um, this just helps it to stiffen up so you don't have to sit the fondant out for ages because I, I do not have time for that. Um, but this helps it stiffen up and I've cut out the shapes roughly and I'll stick that on and smooth it down with a fondant smoother and to stick it down I've just used Trex which is veg fat I think some places call it Crisco um, but whatever you call it is veg fat so just smooth that down and then trim off the excess with a sharp blade and then once the front and back is done I think just the front at this point. I then cut out the shape of the front door and smooth down any of the sort of rougher edges with my finger. But I don't think you want anything too perfect because thinking about what the drawings looked like, um, that was that was a really nice way to do things. So nothing was right angle or anything like that. Um, so I then took the uh, fondant tool, but you could use a, the the back edge of a knife will do that and just gently marked in uh, I guess they would be like plank marks but don't go right to the edges because if you have a look at the drawings the black lines they don't go they don't go right to the edges so they're more um, an impression so once that's done on the front boards I did the same on the back and then I added the side pieces of the house just the bottom part though because the roof will be a separate piece and smooth that down and added my marks into that one but you can see the joins there they don't need to be perfect and I think they looked perfectly good um, as they were so that's just adding the markings to the side panels and after that it was just a case of doing the same for the roof um, that cut slightly bigger than the shape you want so it overhangs at the front and back and and down the side because um, you sort of imagine that's where the water would would drip off if it was raining um, and again just just mark out the paneling on there and once you've done both sides just make a flat top 
um, again with the, the same red fondant and then with a, a steady hand as you can have you just need to take your black food dye and a tiny brush and to paint in those little grooves that you've done just to highlight the plank marks now my little brush you wouldn't believe it, it had like one tiny little bristle that was out of I don't know out of shape compared to the other ones and yeah that that really really made things much more difficult so if you've got anything like that just cut off a little bristle that little bristle that's really stuck in the way because that's so annoying anyway um, back to the um, base of the cake onto the cake board again I just painted some treks onto that and using some green fondant and this doesn't have to be neat and you'll see why in a minute I just wrapped that around the base of the uh, the cake board right the way up to the doghouse and you'll do this for the front and the back part because as you can see it doesn't wrap all the way around but that doesn't matter so squish it up as best you can doesn't matter if it's doesn't matter if it's neat in any sort of uh, way it's not to be totally flat um because you're now gonna scuff that up to make the grass um so cut off the excess and then once that's done There we go, just cutting off the excess around the front. And once that's sorted, you can get out the magic tool that will help you to create grass. And all that is, is just a closed star tip that you would use to pipe buttercream. I think it's a Wilton 1M. That's basically my go-to tip. But once you've once you've got hold of that one, push it into the fondant give it a twist and a scuff around and that'll make little grass marks so do that right the way up to the house and uh, cover the board with that so now this is my my attempt at Snoopy so I started with his little feet and his little legs and he's he's got quite big long feet and you have to cut the top of his legs which will be his thighs at an angle because they're going to fit into his little fat body um, and I've made that into a big lovely chubby sort of um, teardrop or raindrop so it sort of peters down to his neck and he's going to be laying flat on top of the actual dog house and then next came his um, head and the only way I can describe that is to make a really fat kidney bean um, and then some teeny tiny little arms which again just make it a bit more blobby at one end um, and thinner at the other uh, at the join which would be his um, shoulder so again using the treks you just construct a snoopy on top of the actual dog house so you don't need to have everything stuck together before you do it so you've got room to adjust once your dog house is put together so there we go there's his little head and his lovely little belly and then two little legs and once that's done you can add his little arms and you can do his arms either down by his side or over his little chest he's sleeping so however you want to do him is fine and for this I used um, white modeling paste um, but you could use like fondant and add uh, tylose as well just to make it go a bit harder either will work fine so I'm just deciding here how he should be snoozing adding everything on with treks and then once that's completed it was time to add the little black details and that will be a tiny tiny um, piece of black fondant for his little nose and then a little tapered sausage I guess for his uh, ear or as we say in our house lug hole so squish that flat that little sausage because that's just hanging over the edges of the dog house as he's sleeping and then his collar I done black but I I looked at different pictures but there was like black and red but I went I went for black because the, the, you know the dog house was red and there was a lot of red going on as it was and then a tiny little slither of fondant rolled into a sausage and then tapered down at each edge for a sleepy little eye and then I cut out another piece of um, white 
modeling paste which was slightly tinted brown and i hand painted snoopy now the, the good thing about this is don't matter what it looked like because it's just basically someone has painted on little snoopy's name um so it's okay if it was a bit rough and ready you kind of wanted it to be a bit dinged up well that's my excuse and that's what i'm sticking with and then i stuck that onto the front of the doghouse with um, a little bit of trex again and that stayed on fine and then just finished off the cake board with a little bit of shiny red ribbon now this ribbon's brilliant it's kind of pre sticky i got it from the pound shop um which i think some people have dollar stores but basically it's like the cheapy shop um and it's worked perfectly for that um so here he is my finished little snoopy dog i'm um, giving you a little twirl and uh, i think he turned out uh, you you know he's snoopy so i was happy with that he wasn't all all funny looking so it's a little side shot and I'll show you a bit where we've cut through it um, and you can see the insides how it's stacked up so I hope that was helpful um, and maybe you can give it a go um, I hope the voiceover wasn't too bad um, the truth is I couldn't find a piece of music that was long enough to cover this clip so <laughs> anyway um, stay safe and well and thank you so much for watching take care bye